Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install the Advanced Sessions plugin for Unreal Engine. I'm going to be installing it on version 4.27 since at the time of this video it seems that Epic broke the default session nodes for 4.27. So I'm going to show you how to install the Advanced Sessions which fixes that problem. And if you're watching in the future and it's already fixed, then don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to hop right into it. Uh, I made a new project for version 4.27 and then I opened up you can right click and you can uh, show in folder and I, that opens up where it's at and what you want to do is you want to uh, right click and do a create a new folder and call it plugins and then open that up and then we gotta go and find the advanced sessions plugin itself I'll put a link in the description uh, to where you can download the actual plugins. So uh, since I'm doing 4.27 I'm going to download this one and then when you download it it's going to come in a folder and let's see that folder is going to look something like this and you open up the advanced sessions and you want this one right here the top one that says advanced sessions it has all this in it we want to drag this one into here so you would drag and drop it into here and then once it finishes finishes extracting into here uh, you should be good to go it's inside the plugins folder so then you can launch your actual project so open up this project you just created and it'll pull up like this you'll go over to your plugins folder and then you can type in advanced sessions and make sure this is enabled this is the plugin here and it may ask you to restart the engine sometimes it does sometimes it don't depends on if it's enabled or not Okay, now that you have that, uh, you can switch out the sessions nodes. So if we go to HGT, Core Blueprints, All Levels, and then Game Info Instance, uh, there is an event in here called Launch Lobby. And we're going to come over here where you got to create sessions node. You're going to delete that node and instead right click and use the Create Advanced Session node and you can see all the settings here I'll leave it there so you can pause the video all you do is just plug in the player controller, the max players, the use LAN and then plug in the on success and on failure and you're done and then we gotta do one more thing which is uh, H go to HGT, we'll go to widgets we'll go to UI we'll go to lobby and we'll open up the BP menu join widget and there is an event here called update list and what you want to do is you want to find the delete the find sessions node and use the find sessions advanced node and as you can see here you just plug in everything from the is the LAN player controller and then you plug on the success and the results and that is it once you got those two new advanced nodes on both of these You'll be able to host sessions and create sessions, find sessions, and using Steam and stuff. So everything will work. And also, it gives you all these extra um, settings. So in the future, if you wanted to, say, you know, filter for dedicated servers or uh, anything that you want, you can see all the settings that you have here. And you can, uh, you can filter your lobbies more with that. So... With that being said, that wraps up the video. That should fix the sessions problem that Epic seemed to have broke in 4.27. Thanks for watching. See you guys.